So we've got to find the equation of the tangent to this curve called C at the point where x is pi upon 2. Now to do this, let's just draw a sketch, okay? I always think sketches help simplify the problem. Now, I quite often get a lot of people saying to me, but I can't sketch something like this or any curve that they're given. And to a certain extent, that doesn't really matter. Just sketch anything. Let's just say that's the curve C. And we're looking for the equation of the tangent at a point where x is pi upon 2. And let's just imagine that this is that point. The only reason I'm drawing a sketch is just so that we can get a feel for the problem, first of all. And so a tangent to the curve at that point is going to look, say, something like that. And if we're to get the equation of a straight line, we've got to give it in the form y equals ax plus b. Some people think of that as y equals mx plus c, maybe. But I'm going to go for the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. It's a lot easier to use this particular form, first of all, and then convert it into this form afterwards. Remember, x1, y1 is a point on your curve. I've already got x1. It's this point here, pi upon 2. Problem is, I haven't got what y1 is, This the y coordinate that's associated with x equaling pi upon 2. So we're going to need to find that anyway. And also m is the gradient of our tangent, which is the same as the gradient at this point on the curve, where x is pi upon 2. So we can get that part from dy dx. So what we really need to do then is, first of all, let's find out what y is, this y1 value when x is pi upon 2. So I'd write when x is pi upon 2 and substitute this into here. So we would therefore have that y equals 3 plus sine of 2 multiplied by pi upon 2. And if you did 2 times pi upon 2, you're going to just get pi. And that's going to be divided by 2 plus cos of 2x. 2 lots of pi upon 2 is also going to be pi. Now, the sine of pi is 0, and the cos of pi is minus 1. should know these results. If not, just put your calculator in radians mode and type that in or if you want to be in degrees mode, then pi is 180 degrees. OK, so doing that on your calculator, we've got 3 plus 0, which is 3, over 2 plus minus 1, which is 1. So you end up with y being 3. Let's update our diagram here. Let's put in that that y value is now 3. So we need to get the gradient m. And the gradient m at any point on the curve is given by dy by dx. But we're looking at this particular point, so that's when x is pi over 2. So we can get that gradient then by saying that therefore, or also, let's just put also, dy by dx equals. So if we substitute pi upon 2 here, we're going to have 6 sine of pi, okay? So 6 sine pi plus 4 cos of 2x, well that's going to be pi again, and then plus 2, and all of that is divided by 2 plus cos of pi here, and that's all squared, 2 plus cos pi, all squared. So again, we know that uh, the sine of pi is 0, and the cos of pi is minus 1, put all these values into here, do it on your calculator, say, or in your head, and it comes to minus 2. So we've got a gradient then of minus 2. So as it turns out, our sketch possibly looks reasonable. We've got a line here sloping with a gradient of minus 2 and uh, positive uh, x and y coordinates. But still, this curve could be wrong, though. Okay, But it does give us an idea. So 
we're on the last bit now. We've just got to find the equation of that tangent. We've got all the ingredients now, so we can say that therefore the equation of the tangent, just give that some form of intro, is, and what is it? Well, using this then, it's going to be y minus y1, which is the 3, equals m, the gradient, which is minus 2, times x minus x1. And x1 was the pi upon 2. Now, we've got to give it an exact form. So we don't want to type in pi, because that's going to give us a horrible decimal. Just add 3 to both sides and expand out the bracket. So if we expand out the bracket, we've got minus 2x. And then minus 2 times minus pi over 2 is going to be plus, just simply pi. And then if we add 3 to both sides, it's going to be pi plus 3. You could leave it like that. But uh, it did say ax plus b, and it does seem to suggest just a single term here. So what I'm going to do is put that in brackets like so. So I've got it exactly in that format. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea. And that brings us now to the end of this particular question.